Okay, so we're up to our next video. Here we go. We need to continue our topic, which is as follows. The, we're, doing, we're dealing with application, applications of linear equations. Okay, so here we are. We got up to problem number three, I believe. Doesn't really matter, but you can start with that. And let's just do a, uh, something very similar to the last, last problem, just to check that one out. Something similar and then move on. Anyway, here's our, here's our simple problem. 10 less than twice a number. And you know where that's going when you see, he, see the word number or my symbol here for a number. But on Alex, it'll, you'll, they'll write out the word in English, number. And then find the number, just like last time. Okay, 10 less than twice a number. All right, 10 less. Be careful with 10 less. Let's look, scan a little bit further. Twice a number, so that's going to be 2x. Is is equals, is is equals, 42 is 42. But I missed something, 10 less. 10 less than twice a number. So I got to squeeze in. I should have left some more space, but it's okay. I got enough. Minus 10. 10 less than twice a number. Find the number. Okay, now we, it's a regular linear equation. Plus 10 on the left, plus 10 on the right. This is gone, right? Uh, that cancels that out. 2x is equal to 52. Divide by 2 left, divide by 2 right. x is equal to 26. And the problem is over. 52 divided by 2 is 26. And therefore, we're done. Okay, let me move this paper up right away. So I don't, um, sometimes I do stuff and you can't see it at the below at the bottom of the screen. I want to try to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, problem number four, a little bit more complicated. Here's the deal. All right, let's uh, cordon this off so I have some space here. Okay, so we've got a so we've got a, a player, ball player who is going to be negotiating through his agent or through himself, whatever, for the salary. So his um, his the one team, the team A. Team A. Offered a salary, and I'll call it by the way x right team a offered a saddle salary so uh the uh, agent let's say the agent goes to uh, team b and says as follows here's this here's the here's the main here's where the, what the um the agent says the agent says to team b right the agent says to team b double double the double um we want um, we want the double the that that salary of team A, double that, and double their offer at plus add a million plus add a million, and the ball player will play for you. Now. After that, he the, the the agent says, "I'll tell you exactly what we want. We want seventeen million dollars to play next year, whatever." Okay, so there's the so team A offered a certain certain amount. The agent goes to team B and says, "Well, I don't like their amount. Double their offer, team A's offer, plus add another million, and what I really want is seventeen million dollars for the play." For the, okay, so what do you do here? Now here, oh, no, here's the question. I'm sorry. One more thing I got to tell you. What was, what was, what was Team A's offer? What was Team A? I really should give it a capital. What was Team A's offer? That's the question. We know what they want from Team B. What was Team A's offer? All right. Well, it says over here, double their offer. Their offer, we already know we should call it X. Right? It was in some unknown number. Double, so double their double their offer, that's 2X, plus add another million, plus one. And that's going to be equal what he spells out. Eventually, the agent spells out, we want exactly 17 mil. Okay, $17 million. Let me bring this up a little bit. Make sure, absolutely make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the linear equation that we got to figure out, and we're going to get the number of the team A's offer very soon. 
minus 1 on left, minus 1 on right. This is gone. We get, and again, I don't have enough space, so I'm going to go 2x is equal to 16. Divide by 2 on left and divide by 2 on right. That's gone. And move over a little bit. You get x is equal to 8. 8 million was the first offer by team A. And what he asked team B was to double it and add another million. And But here is the answer. 8 million was what team A's offer was. Okay, there we go. All right, so now, as usual, what I need to do is get another piece of paper. I don't need this piece of paper. I need a clean new piece of paper. There we go. So we move on. What if you've got, and here is the final one of our final uh, word problem here for the moment. We can worry about other, other word problems if necessary in the future for different, uh, for different, um, different uh, topics or for the test. But here we go with this one. What if you've got two employees, two employees. Okay, so I'm gonna call them as usual A and P because it just makes life easier, two employees. Okay, so now they got, they work, they work wherever they work, restaurant, whatever it is, and they the the um, they got a total of two hundred and forty five dollars in tips. Right, two employees got two hundred forty dollars, two hundred forty five. But they're not splitting it in half. Hold on, two hundred and forty five dollars in tips. This is what they agreed to do for whatever crazy reason. This is what they agreed to do. The tips came in dollars and quarters. Okay, so employee A is taking the quarters. Inclo employee B is taking the dollars. And here's vital information. There are three times, three times as many quarters as dollars. Okay, so that's, I'm, hopefully I'm giving you the information pretty clearly here. Total 245 in the in the tip box. The bunch of the stuff in there are only quarters and, and dollars. And there's no other, and there's no dimes or pennies in there or nickels, whatever. There's just quarters and dollars. But we know that there's three times as many quarters as dollars. To, employee A is willing to take all, take all the quarters, whatever it comes out to be. B is willing to take all the dollars, is whatever that comes out to be. So right, here's the question. So what did each get? What does or what did each meaning employee A and employee B each get? That's the question. Okay, so we got to set up an equation. So one, well, B got, gets the dollars. Let's call it D. So I'm not using my usual X now. I'm going to call this D, very identifiable as dollars. B is getting the dollars. Now, A is getting quarters, but he's getting three times as many dollars. Three times. Right, if this one get whatever. Let's say this guy gets fifty dollars, he's getting three times that much in quarters, right? So you got three times as much. Fine. Now, way now the you add them up, you add them up, and you're going to get two hundred and forty-five dollars. But I, there's one mistake in there. I didn't. I did that on purpose. I didn't. Lots of times I make mistakes, but I, this one I left out for on purpose to come back to it. And that is, this 3D cannot stay that way. This dollars, each one of those is a dollar. That's fine. But these three these three times D is three times as many dollars in quarters. But how much is a quarter? A quarter is 0.25 of a dollar. So you, when we're talking about quarters, we got to represent how much that is worth. As, as, as far as Charles is concerned, it's worth 25% of a dollar, 0.25 in decimal. And a dollar is worth one. One dollar each. So the way to represent this exactly is, 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 is uh, as you see right there. Okay, now we've got the equation down. Three times as many quarters. Each one is worth 25 cents. A bunch of dollars. I don't know how many yet. Bunch of dollars. But in each one is equal to point, is 1.0. One dollar equals 245 dollars. All right, now let's go find D. As soon as we find D, we'll know how many dollars the, uh, the employee B got. So hold on, let's go find D. So this becomes 0.75 D. Let me move up again. I like to move the paper up sooner rather than later to try to make sure you can see what I'm doing. 
So sometimes, as I say, when we look at the video, video it goes a little bit beneath the screen. Anyway, 0.75D plus D equals 245. Just cleaning this up a little bit. That's 0.25 times 3 is 0.75. Then this is equal to 1, right? 1D. So it's 1.75D, 1, 1 and 0.75 is 1.75D equals 245. Now I want to know how much D is. So I divide the left by 1.75. And I'll divide the right by 1.75. You can use a calculator. I mean, don't try to do, to try to not use it too much to become too uh, dependent on it, but use a calculator. And you divide both by 1.75, and you find out that D is equal to a total of, looking at it myself, so I, I don't make any careless mistake, is equal to 140. So the amount, I already know how much, how much did each get? Employee B got $140. And that's a final answer for employee B. But there's two parts to this. I got to find out what employee A did. All right, so there's a couple ways of doing that. I can just simply say three times one, three, right over here, three times 140 is 420, and 40, 420 times 0.25 is whatever it is. That's one way of doing it. Or else I, could, I happen to know that the total is 245. That person got. Uh, employee a, a, a got 140, so employee might subtract that 140 from 245, you get 105, and I know that employee A got $105. Both of the questions have been answered. This problem is over. Those are the two answers. Let me just move this back just a little down, just a little down, for to finish off the problem by circling the two answers. And that's it for this page. Let's go on. We have to go on to our new topic. I'm going on to a new page for that purpose, but I have some time on this video and I don't like to waste the time on the video if I can. Okay, we get out a new page, new clean page. Here we go. I'm going on to the topic called, it's the next topic, it's called ratio. And we're just going to get it started just a little bit. It's called ratio. And it goes on to proportion. And then variation. I'll put that that sound, that little ampersands uh, I have for end. That's my way of putting end in a somewhat in a short version of it and therefore the last one we want would be variation. Obviously on this video, the rest of this video we're not going to get uh, much of that done, but we can talk about ratio. All right. So now, if you've got as follows, if you've got the, um, let's say there's, um, there's a survey or something, and they find out that 95, uh, 95 million, Ameri million Americans, but just let's put, put it down, 95 million, um, like to swim. Okay, then 56 million go for biking. And finally, um, 52 bowling. Okay, all right, what's the... Uh, the one more, I'm sorry, 44, actually run out of time. Let me just do one of these on this. What is the ratio? Ratio of bikers to swimmers. Just look up your information up there. Well, the ratio of bikers to swimmers, how many swim? I'm sorry, how many bike? 56. How many swim? 95. There's your ratio. If it would be swimmers to bikers, it would be just the opposite. That's all That's all this question is, this type of question is asking. Okay, I got to end this video because I got to get it under 15 for YouTube purposes. So here we go with that. Time to shut down the video. Okay, good.